So welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners and today I'm going to show you a quick trick in vacuum sealing some of the products that you can't normally vacuum seal. If you take sugar or flour or something, put it inside your vacuum sealed bag, throw it in your machine and hit the button, oh lord are you looking for a mess. You're going to look like a ghost if it's the flour. Remember this folks, you don't have to have an oxygen absorber and put in here. If you choose, you would like to. There is nothing stopping you. If it makes you feel better, you feel it's going to last longer, whatever it makes you feel or however it makes you feel, please do it that way. Okay, now uh, folks, on this one here, most of your bread recipes call for two to three cups, depending on your recipe. So we're going to do three cups of flour. All right, <clears throat> get your measuring cup, grab your flour. Pour it right in there. Now if you wanted to measure this out with an actual one cup, so you can get an exact amount, that's fine. We're going to go for one more cup. So there's our three cups of flour. Roll that down. We need another bag. Pull this out to about right there. Take our bag, put it inside our vacuum seal bag. Now, like I said, if you wanted to throw an oxygen absorber in here, you're more than welcome to. But you don't have to folks and right now with inflation and the price of everything in the stores if you don't need it don't buy it and voila folks we have done flour as soon as it releases there we go we have flour we throw that into our bucket and how much simpler can that get? All right, folks, so you saw really how easy that really was. And to be perfectly honest with you, this goes right along with my rice video on, you know, if you have your bucket, right, and you're storing your stuff in your bucket and you break it up into like your three cups of flour, three cups of sugar, a pound of salt or something else, these are great bargaining tools. This would be a great bargaining tool in case of an emergency, a grid down situation, or Lord knows whatever else may happen. People will eventually need these products. And if you have those products, you'll be able to bargain to get the products you need and to help you and your family survive. So thank you for joining me today on Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I hope you all learned a little something about vacuum sealing and doing some of the dry goods that you just can't do unless you know this trick. Right, folks? So you all stay safe. You keep prepping. You keep the boat afloat.